Hey, what's up, guys? Alright, so, part two of the Orca Concept build here. Um, so I got the XY Gantry build designed, tested, working. Still gotta make some tweaks to it, maybe. Um, yeah, this setup doesn't actually happen in one shot. I mean, it's, you know, I have plenty of fails. You know, parts aren't thick enough, you know, melting. Alright, so here we go. XY Gantry is built, and let me show you. So it's, I'm actually running the black and linear rails here. And um, it's very Verone like. It's not a knockoff, it's, it's totally different than a Verone though, but it's the same sort of like belt, route, belt routing. Um, it's because I like the belt routing going through the back here. Um, like I said, it's completely different. There's nothing copied from a Verone. Um, and then I don't like uh, I, I don't like when I see the motors in the front, so I, I don't want any obstructions to go from here. So I mean, a lot of the core XY is the belts will come in the front, or they'll have the motors in the front. Whereas I wanted the motors in the back, so you get a plain sight, nothing obstructing your view from your print. Um, so I designed these little tensioners here. Um, yeah, it's just basically like a little pulley in there. Yeah, you can see that right there. Let me just turn the light on the line on and they'll make it easier to see here. So I'm running a uh, Raspberry Pi 4, the 10 for 7 touch screen. I'm also running Clipper. Still running the Pico board. So I'm still kind of figuring out what I'm going to do with the, the Z Gantry. I already have the linear rails. So I'm going to do four linear rails. That's what these are for. Um, so, I mean, originally this was supposed to be cheap, but then I kept on, I kept on, getting, kept on getting more and more expensive. Um, like right now, the most expensive things are, are linear rails. But um, a couple other things I've designed. Designed these, uh, the gantry here, like this right here. These are designed. Um, like I said, I kind of liked it where it was sort of lower. You know, it wasn't like sitting on top here. Yeah, you know, where you actually have the thing on top. Because I wanted to be able to fish around wires and stuff into it. You know, I mean, I could do a cable chain, but cable chains are, I don't know. You know, I think I just want to fish something up into it like that. So here's my little belt catch thing here. So, you know, I've been looking at all different kinds of 3D printers. And, I mean, I haven't actually cut the belts off, but I wanted something I could actually adjust the, the belts for the extruder here. And, um, you know, I can loosen this. It's, it's like a belt latch. So once I'm... Sorry, the truck gone by. So once I figure out exactly what I want to do, I'll cut these belts off. And then to adjust tension, I mean, I really I only need to make them short on this side because it homes on this side, and I'll show you the homing. Um, oh, also, this is running centralless homing too. Um, so I'm not, school's still out of a centralless homing. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Just because once I start cranking up the speed and the acceleration, I'm worried about false positives. Yeah, you know I man, that's going to actually, yeah. So I might have to eventually come back and put some end stops on here. Once I really start cranking up the speed, because I'm almost sure it's gonna, we're gonna have false positives, you know, going back and forth so much. Well, it's gonna be hard to be able to dial it in when you're not ramming your bed and also being able to move fast. So, um, all right, so let me show you some uh, movements here. Do a quick uh, move, home, we'll home the X. So I'm just gonna home the X here on the screen. So right now I'm running 2209s, essentially telling my feedback is 100 and my uh, speed is 40. But once I'm done with this printer I got everything dialed in, I'll show you my configuration. So that was uh, X, Y, so the Y just basically hits the back of it. So I might still need to mess around with that a little bit. Um, you know, the actual amount of force. Alright, let's go back and uh, I'll do a move and I'll do like 50. I'll go negative. So you get the fan, I have a fan programmed as a, as a, as a uh, driver cooling fan. So as soon as I move the drivers or home it, it will actually start cooling the drivers off. Um, do Y50. Yeah, so I'm not going to upload any of the stuff on Thingiverse yet until I get everything done. Um, 
so yeah this is part two I just want to do the XY gantry part three will be the um, uh, the uh, Z and then uh, well I have a couple different ideas for, ideas for the Z so I might do I'm gonna do like a dual uh, belt setup so I actually have some uh, 10 millimeter belt here um, so I'm gonna do like maybe a double belt setup I mean eventually I might go four motors four different you know gantry but then I have to change my controller board which isn't a big deal but it's you know added cost I originally like I said I converted this to my old Solvo printer so I try to make it cheap but you know I guess if you didn't have all this stuff from scratch and you had to buy it all it'd be pretty expensive probably you know if you had to buy a Raspberry Pi 4 with a touch screen I mean each of these linen rails were like were you know 70 to 20 dollars each uh, I paid like a couple extra bucks for the black ones um, so I already have all the linear rails, I gotta work on this thing, but, um, alright, so yeah, I'm making some progress on this thing, so, I'm excited once I, uh, you know, once I get it going, and I have some good ideas for like a high speed, uh, high volume, uh, high, like it's a high flow, like extruder, so I was gonna use my CNC machines, maybe my, uh, fourth access to basically maybe cut out like a high flow, uh, extruder system. Yeah, I already have a lot of different ideas and concepts I've been working on. But, um, alright guys, that's cool. That's part two. And part three will be probably coming in about a week because I have to design the stuff. Print them out, test it. You know, maybe two weeks, I'm not sure. Depends on my workload. Like I said, I still don't really know if I'm going to go belts. I don't know, man. I know I'm going on and on. Or lead throughs or what. So, but yeah, in part three I'll basically have a complete and I'll show you what I came up with. All right, guys, cool.